You can draw this in Procreate. You can draw these lips in Procreate by just using the brushes that are already in the app. I will really do my best to make the steps of drawing and painting these lips as easy as possible. I will hold your hand through the process and just be sure that if things are going too fast to just pause or even rewind the video. I'm sure you can do it because I have seen so many great results of other you can draw this videos on Instagram. And if you make it to the end of this video, then be sure to share your result on Instagram and tag me in the image so I will be able to find it. And perhaps we'll see your lips in the next you can draw this video. Are you ready to get started? First of all, our canvas. It's 3000 by 2000 pixels. And I have created a color palette for your convenience, which you can download through a link in the description. First thing we'll do painting these lips is add a color to our background. You can just go to the layer palette, that's these two little squares, click the background color layer, and then we'll pick this first color right here. It's kind of a skin tone color, since lips are usually surrounded by skin. And then we'll go to the layer palette again. We'll use layer one to create a sketch. Or actually, we are going to make some basic shapes, making our sketching face a lot easier. For our color, we will pick the second color in the color palette. And for our brush, we will be using the 6B pencil, which you can find under sketching. Let me just zoom out a little bit. First thing we'll do is create a circle. And this will be the center of the upper lip. Just draw a circle, hold your pen in place, and tap one finger on your screen to create a perfect circle. And you can use edit shape here at the top to move your circle around. Just place it somewhere in the middle of your canvas. Next we'll make two other circles. So let's draw one here. Hold your pen in place again and tap one finger on the screen to make it a perfect circle. And you can use edit shape again to move it around. I want it somewhere right here. I want this edge to be in the center line of that other circle. And then we'll create another circle on this side. Hold your pen in place again, tap one finger on the screen, and use edit shape to move it around. We'll go for something like this. And next we'll create an oval shape underneath our three circles. Just draw a rough oval, hold your pen in place, and then use edit shape. Now I want to make sure that the top of the oval touches the two outer circles and the height is about the same as the height of these circles and the outside is just well just outside of those three circles so the oval will touch the circles right there and if you draw a line from the side of the circle down then you'd have a little more oval here on the right and there on the left now this doesn't look quite like lips yet, but we will fix that. Let's make a new layer on top of this layer. But before we do that, let's turn down the opacity. We'll click the N and then just drag this slider to the left to around 33, 34%. And then we can click the plus to create a new layer. And on this layer, we will be sketching. We will still be using the 6B pencil, which is by the way set to, well, it's around 53, 52. It doesn't really matter. It's, it's about what you like. And first thing we'll do is add the corners of the lips. It's about, well, it's a little bit below this line of the oval and it'll be a little bit outside of the oval. Just make a little well, kind of like an oval shape. Because the corners of the mouth are usually pretty dark. 
and then we'll make the line between the lips. We'll go down a little bit here and then we'll follow that oval up and then we'll follow that middle circle down. And when we're here, we'll follow that oval again and we'll make a bit of a curve up towards the corner of the mouth. And you can just work on that line a bit. So here we'll follow the circle and there we'll follow the oval. Then we'll go for the upper lips. Here we'll follow the circle. And here we'll go down a little bit. Not too much. And just follow that circle. And we'll go down a little bit here. Almost to the corner of the mouth. And on this side as well. Just a slight curve. Like that. So now we have an upper lip. And for the lower lip, you don't have to do a lot. You can just follow that oval shape. From one corner of the mouth to the other. And you don't have to let your line touch that corner of the mouth entirely. So now with a few easy steps, you have created some basic lips. Now you might feel like these lips are a little bit small and also it's just easier to start small with your sketch. It's easier to make smaller shapes, but we can make it bigger now and we can just make both the basic shapes and the sketch, make them bigger by selecting both layers. So we have the sketch layer here and here's the layer with the circles. You can just swipe to the right to select them both. And now if you go to the little arrow over here, you can make your shape bigger. Be sure to set it to uniform, otherwise you will totally ruin the proportions. And let's just make it a little bit bigger. I think something like this looks nice. And then you can just click the arrow again to get out of here. Now that we have this basic lip shape, our sketch, it's time to start painting. And we'll want to do that on a separate layer. We don't want to paint on our sketch. So we'll make a layer underneath these layers that we just created with the sketch. So just click layer two, then click the plus to make a new layer and click and drag it underneath those sketch layers. And now let's make the sketch layer that we just created. Let's make that one a bit more transparent as well. So just click the N and drag your opacity slider to the left. Let's put it around 33% and we can make that layer with the circles even more transparent. Around 9%. And then go to layer three where we will start painting. Let's start off by filling these lips with some color. Let's go to the color palette and pick this third color in the color palette. And for our brush, let's go to the airbrushing brushes. And let's use the soft airbrush. Let's set the opacity to 100% and let's make it nice and big. Let's go for 70%. Yeah, that's a nice size. We'll start off by filling the upper lips with a color. Just fill that entire shape and keep an eye on that sketch that you just created. There, and the lower lips are usually a bit lighter. We'll go for this fourth color in the color palette, which is a bit lighter because light is coming from above and it will hit that lower lip, making it appear a bit lighter than that upper lip. Again, just follow your sketch and give that lip a nice base color.
Lips usually don't have very defined outlines. The outline is actually quite blurry. So on this color layer, let's use a slight Gaussian blur. We'll go to the magic wand and pick Gaussian blur. And I want to blur this layer just slightly. Let's go for somewhere around 7%. And now I want to define the, the lips a bit more. We'll go for a dark color. Let's pick this one. That's the first color in the second row. And we'll still be using the soft airbrush, but we'll make it a lot smaller. Let's go for six. And while the outsides, the outlines of the lips are very soft, well, they have a soft transition between the lips and in the corners, you will find more defined edges. You will find the darkest parts there. So make that corner of the lip dark. And we'll just follow that sketch a bit. But don't just go over that line. Try to vary that line. Make it quite a bit darker here. Near that center of the lip. So we'll use that sketch as a guide. And you'll find a lot of shadow right here between the lips. and towards the corners of the lips. Don't just go over that line, try to vary it. Here we'll go over that corner. And we'll make it a bit thicker here. Next, let's turn off the sketch layers. We'll just hit those check boxes to turn them off. And now without the sketch, I want to refine these lips a bit more. Let's grab that color that we used for the sketch, that darker reddish color. And we'll keep using that soft airbrush. And we'll make a, well, let's go a bit bigger with our brush. 13%, 14, 13. And let's just make a slight line underneath that lower lip. Just go along that edge. But not all the way to the corner of the mouth. And now let's add some dark and lighter areas on the lips. We'll use the soft brush for that, which is also under airbrushing. And we'll keep it relatively small. We'll go for 6% and the opacity is at 40%. That way we can slowly build up. First of all, I want to darken that underside of the lower lip a little bit. Let's pick up this color from the upper lips. You can just use your finger to pick up the color. And let's go over this underside a little bit. Because the most, well, the light will hit that top part of the lip and it curls down a little bit. So this underside will be slightly darker. And also that top part will be a little bit darker as well because it will be covered by those upper lips. Now let's add some light. Let's just pick this really light color. And slowly, well gently glaze over this lower area. So that we get some slight light there. And I'd also like to add some reddish tones. So we'll pick this color in the color palette to add some brighter reds here at the top and also on the underside of that upper lip. And 
Next, I want to pick up that skin color and work on the upper lip a little bit. Let's make the brush 11% and make this one a little bit smaller. We'll go just around the outer edges. And you can pick up the lip color again. I'll go to 9% with the brush and just shape those lips a little bit. In our next step, we will really start to define and refine our lips. And we'll do that on separate layers set to different layer blending modes. First, we will make a layer that is set to multiply. So first click the plus for a new layer, then click the N, scroll up to multiply. Now when we paint on this layer, everything will turn out to be a bit darker. First, let's just add some general shadows. We will pick a local color, that reddish color, We'll set the brush to 9% and let's add a little bit of shadow to those corners of the mouth. And we'll also add some shadow underneath the lips because that will cast a little bit of a shadow on the skin there. Let's pick that local color that we just created to slowly build up the shadow there. And the corners a little bit more. And now let's go grab the soft airbrush again which you can make quite a bit smaller. Go for 8% and let's also lower the opacity. Let's go to 50% and let's start refining these lines between the lips, for example. And we'll also start making some creases on the lips. Now when making these creases, make sure to follow the shape of the lip it'll curve up like this. So on this side, it will curve like this. And on this side, it'll curve this way. Try to see the 3D shape of the lips. And you can also turn on the sketch layer again, if that's helpful for you. By the way, if you can't get enough of Procreate and following my tutorials, then you'll want to check out my latest Skillshare class. It has just launched and it's super fun. In it, we will be creating colorful houses in Procreate. You can actually join Skillshare for free for two months if you follow the link in the description. We can make a couple of creases on the lower lip as well. And again, do be sure to follow that shape of the lip. So we're making these rounded curves. Next thing we'll do is create another layer, but this time we will set it to screen. So click the N on that new layer and scroll down to screen. Here we can make everything appear lighter. So we can make lighter creases, for example. So just pick the local color by holding your finger on the screen. And again, follow those curves upwards here. And on this side, we'll curve like this. And let's also create some creases on that lower lip. I 
all the way to the outside. And some creases on this side as well. You can add some little lights here. And a little light here near that corner of the mouth. some light here near the top. And now let's grab that very light pink that we have right here in the color palette. And let's add a little bit of light here near that upper lip. Some shine on that skin over there. And let's also create some highlights on that lower lip. We will go to the drawing brushes for that and use the gloaming brush. I have it set to 9% in size and the opacity is at 100%. And let's just create some tiny highlights. Which will really add to that shine on the lips. Don't make them too big, just some little dabs. And next we'll add a new layer on top of these and we'll set this one to overlay. So click the N, scroll down, until you see overlay and this one will use to boost the colors of these lips let's go back to the airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush and for the color we'll pick this bright red over here let's make the brush a bit bigger it's 15 percent and let's glaze over some of that bright red It really intensifies and give, gives more saturation to our reddish color. And finally, I want to add one more multiply layer. Let's click the plus again, click the N, and then scroll up to multiply for some final tweaks and some more definition between the lips. Let's use the soft airbrush again. And for the color, Let's just use this very dark reddish color. And let's just define that line between the lips a bit more. Making this very dark. That's the darkest area between the lips, so be careful. The outside of the lips is usually a soft transition and between the lips you'll find that darker shadow. And if you really want to learn more about painting realism and procreate, then you might want to check out my Patreon page. There I have a lot more videos about painting realism, including painting glossy lips, using my art with flow brushes. And there I share a lot more about blending techniques, for example, using the smudge tool, using other brushes, all to create realism and procreate. Just be sure to define that area between the lips. You can keep making tweaks on your lips 
You could even merge all these layers and then start building on top of that again. I just want to make one more normal layer by clicking the plus and using the soft brush. And I want to make that shadow underneath the lower lip. I want to make that a bit more subtle. So I'll just pick that local color. I have the brush set to 7%. And I want to get rid of that side a little bit. But using these layers, that gives you a lot of control because if you don't like what you're doing on this layer, then you can just remove it, start over. Let's lighten this a bit as well. And this way, you can just tweak your painting without ruining the base. This is just a way to easily paint lips and a way to utilize layers in Procreate. I hope you had fun following this tutorial. If you did, then be sure to check out my other You Can Draw This videos as well. Or check me out at Patreon or Skillshare. Or just check out these two videos over here.